So, um, <clears throat> as the title suggests, I'm going to be attempting to build a sustainer unit for this Teletype guitar. This is the um, Bennett TC2. So, uh, I've already put the amplifier in. This is a 3.5 watt solid state amplifier made by Chemo in Germany. Um, these are about 20 quid, so you, know, you don't break the bank. Uh, wire, copper uh, enameled wire for the driver. The driver unit is what actually um, resonates, and I've, I've already made a cutout for it here. Resonates, which vibrates the strings. Um, I'm going to be using this old um, single coil blank that I've already taken all the copper wire off of. Unfortunately, you can't use um, just a single coil pickup because even though the um, resistance is a, a probably um, about the right, I mean, if you if you've got a, a high powered single coil because you need about eight about eight k. Um, but the the the, um, the gauge of the uh, wire, copper wire, is just too thin. It would just probably melt. So you need this point point oh two millimeter, and we're going to wind that on that gap at the top where the magnets are exposed. We somehow we've got to get um, eight k in there. And I'm not quite sure whether it's going to actually fit. I might have to modify the um, Modify it a bit more so we've got more room. Um, we'll see. Basically, I'm going to measure this, see how much resistance there is on on this piece. This is uh, 115 meters. Um, let's measure the resistance, and then I might try and actually cut it to length first before I wind it on. That way, I'll know whether I'm getting close or not. Uh, so, yeah, that goes in there. I've already cut the, um, the extra slot out of the pit guard to uh, accommodate. Uh, we need a battery box, which hasn't arrived yet, which is going to go probably in the back there somewhere, somewhere close to there, so that I haven't got too much of a uh, spread for the wire. Um, we've just... This is my control plate for it, which I fitted a um, kill switch to. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out all the kill switch, take out all the wiring, and in its place we'll go. Where is it? A 10k volume push pull. Um, all the push pull is going to do is just to turn off the battery when you're not using it because a 3.5 watt amplifier um, is going to kill a, a kill a 9 volt battery fairly quickly I would think um, you're probably only going to get um, oh, 4 or 5 hours I would have thought so we're going to kill it with that all the time we're not using it <clears throat> and then basically <clears throat> you take a live take a live feed from the bridge to the volume to the oh sorry to the amplifier which then goes to the driver and then the whole lot has to be powered obviously um, you can then adjust the amount of sustain with this pot and like I say, turn it on and off when you don't need it. So that's the theory. Uh, I've already made a start. And the next job, I think, is I'm going to... I might re-modify this, see if I can get a bit more magnet exposed. The magnets are already... Um, the slugs are already touching the magnets. Um, 
but I'm, I'm not convinced that there's going to be enough room in there for 8k of wire so I'm I'm tempted to take it all apart get my hacksaw and cut a bit more plastic off of there I'm not sure yet but anyway that's the next job and um, see you soon bye